Good afternoon, this is David Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire, and we're pleased to be with you today for another video. I've been getting a lot of requests on is it really possible to start a fire with a magnifying glass. So what I want to do today is to show you a couple of different techniques that will guarantee, even on a semi-cloudy day, you can get a fire started. Now it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon here. Much easier to start a fire at noontime because the sun is directly overhead, especially in the winter. But being that it's 4 o'clock, the sun set down about halfway to the horizon. But I think we'll still be able to get a fire going. So let me show you some of these techniques and how we get a fire going. Now I'm going to demonstrate three different things that you can start a fire with today. There's many others that you can use. Even if you were to find a bottle out in the bush, you could possibly use the bottle, a clear bottle, with some water droplets on it to form a, a lens. But what you need is some kind of a lens that will magnify the ray of the sun. This is just an old scope lens. And so what I'm going to do is start with this and show you how quickly this will catch. Now if you have a piece of char cloth, you really have a pretty easy time. Because as quick as I can put this on and focus that lens, that char is lit. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. You probably can see it smoking. But that's the easiest way in the bush to start a fire with a piece of char cloth. But what if you don't have any char cloth? You need to make some char cloth. You have a pair of binoculars, you have a scope or something else. You have a pair of eyeglasses that will magnify or a uh, lens, a Fresnel lens or a regular magnifying glass. How can you do that? Let's take a look at that next. Now a lot of people just grab a pile of grass like this and try and light it. And while that will work, it's the hard way. Let me demonstrate. I can put this on here and start to focus the lens on here. And we might see this start to smoke in a minute. But it's going to take a while. There's some smoke. I hope you can see that. But it's going to take a while to make a fire that way. So what's an easier way? Well, let me show you. What I'm going to do is take some of the dry, dead grass and I'm going to go ahead and make that into a small ball. I'm going to make this ball very, very tight, just compressing it between my fingers. And this is just a little trick that I've learned. I didn't see this anywhere, read it anywhere, but it seems to work much better. What I'm doing is forming a little ball inside my nest. Now I'm going to go ahead and focus that lens right on that small ball. Well, first you'll notice that it starts to burn a lot quicker. Now, as I said earlier, our fire today, or our sun, is not quite as hot as it could be. It's behind some clouds, but this is a pretty decently strong lens, and you can see that it's starting to turn that ball black. Okay, and what I do is just continue to focus that on there for a minute. Now you can see that that compressed ball got very, very red. It formed a coal inside my grass. And that would definitely be enough to start the fire. So there's a little trick for you to remember. A hard compressed ball that's going to make a compressed coal. And that's going to work a lot better for you. Let me show you the same thing with the magnifying glass, which isn't quite as powerful as this lens and then the Fresnel lens, which is much more powerful than either one. Now what I'm doing, because I'm going to blow this into fire once that I use the Fresnel lens for you, is I'm just taking a little bit of the bottoms of some dry grass, rolling it into a bird's nest, and then I've got my small piece right here that I'm going to go ahead and compress. Again, this can be grass, it can be leaves, it can be moss, anything that's dry and will burn well. So I've got that rolled out, a lot of small fibers, and then I compress it together very, very tightly, which will give me my coal. So I'll compress that, put that right into the bird lens. All right, now what I've done, I've got some leaves here. These are good dry leaves. I'm going to mash them up into a tight ball, just like I did with that grass. I'm going to put them right on that grass, and then I'm going to see if the magnifying lens will, will work with those. 
Now this should be a little bit easier because as I said those leaves tend to burn a little bit quicker than a grass will. There you can see that smoke coming up pretty good. And because I've got that packed in there well, plus I have a pretty flat surface, I just maybe I'll pull this one off. The stronger the lens, the easier it's going to be to get that sun ray, especially when you don't have a real, real good sun. trying to keep this open so you can see it and I've got to keep the right angle between the Sun and the glass but you can see it's starting to smoke So there we go. And you could see with this magnifying glass, even with cracks and things in it, it gave me a coal. So, uh, and there we go. So let's try one more time. This time what I want to do is I want to use a Fresnel lens because I want to show you the difference in how powerful a Fresnel lens is. Even a little small pocket sized Fresnel lens will fit into your wallet and it's well worth carrying for the simplicity of making a fire. If I have a cloudy day, if I have a day where the sun is not as high, I may still be able to get a fire going with that Fresnel lens. So let's try the Fresnel lens and show you how that works. All right. What I'm doing is again formulating my bird's nest got that in good shape so I'm going to take my dried grasses and I'm pretty sure these dried grasses will work this time with this Fresnel as I said much more powerful but I'm still going to make that real tight little ball that's going to give me a tinder bundle or a fire coal inside there okay so I'll put that in now this Fresnel lens is a little bigger this is about a four by six You can see how fast that Fresnel caught those grasses and I've got a pretty good coal in there now. All I need to do is to go ahead and blow that coal into a flame. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. The Magic of Fire by Sun. Hope you've enjoyed this demonstration on making a fire with some kind of a lens, a Fresnel lens, a magnifying glass. Lenses from your eyeglasses will work again. Lenses from, uh, from a camera, if you have a camera out there. A lens from a scope on a rifle. Many different things that you can use. This is David Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire. Hoping you've enjoyed this video. Hope that you have a great day. Join us again for another video, and we'll see you very soon.